I wanted to share some uh, things that I did with uh, the uh, Snap Atom, and uh, I wanted to add on my iPhone um, XS Max uh, uh, moment lenses. And so I had to do some serious modification, mostly get away with modifying the case. I ripped out a pretty wood on the back and made a big hole on the back and I also had to thin down an area there for the little uh, tilt servo to be able to uh, tilt left and right. Here's the area that I thinned out and the hole I made in order for that uh, clamp to clamp properly on the top of the bot and the bottom and also uh, get closer for efficient wireless charging. The red area is area where you, you can go but you have two problems. One of them is you won't be able to wirelessly charge any longer and the other one is that the right side of the phone will start bumping uh, into the pan servo and so that could be a problem for some people. Uh, I, I don't really care because I generally take a video in um, landscape mode but um, you have to watch about, watch about that if you if you turn the other way. Here you can see the area where the pen servo is part of this little locking mechanism that could interfere. And here you can see various angles. I put counterweight, a little bit of uh, uh, one inch diameter counterweight on the uh, roll servo and also on the pen servo. It was like one of them has 12 gram, the other one's 22 gram. If I add heavy lenses or heavy filters, I have to screw on a little bit more. Here is uh, when I was using the wide angle with with a uh, 62 millimeter uh, filter, I had to add 20 grams of counterweight on the bottom. You can see I later on I'm switching now to the 52 millimeter uh, filters on both, uh, on all, all the lenses. And here you can see I kind of generic the 52 millimeter attachment on the uh, anamorphic lens and there's a little filter on it. And uh, you can see I, I'm trying to show that the thing is <laughs> balancing. Uh, these are still later on, they will be um, moving. Uh, Oh, there's a deinterlacing problem. I don't have another camera that uh, is not progressive, and so um, there is an interlacing problem. I you know, to, didn't didn't feel like trying to figure out how to deinterlace old camera. So uh, please forgive the the interlacing effect. Um, here I can, I can I'm showing you how how the thing balances. You can see. Uh, the gimbal is off and and I'm just putting to various positions and it stays in those positions and uh, it's very sensitive it can start flipping <laughs> uh, it's, if you just breathe on it because there's not much friction in those uh, servos but but um, it does balance perfectly in both the horizontal and vertical position uh, you will be able to see that again in a second. Um, but I'm, I'm very pleased with it and it's very easily rebalanced with, uh, with just, uh, you know, just moving that, that uh, um, back of the clamp around that, that opening, you're moving the, the um, pivot point and so you don't have to change the, the counterweights. I have on the back again about on the on the uh, uh, roll servo is about 12 gram and it's about 22 and depending how heavy the lens may be 44 gram counterweight on the tilt servo but uh, uh, you know majority of the adjustment can be done by moving that uh, that back of the uh, clamp up and down on left and right. So you're moving the, the pivot point and balancing that way rather than changing the weights uh, on the sides. And it, it gets quite a huge range doing it that way. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show how, 
how easy it is. Like I said, if I push all the way to the to the lens, uh, I lose the wireless charging. I might start bumping on the bottom, but I can get rid of this clamp, uh, this counterweight that you that you see. Uh, that's there, so I can I can switch to uh, landscape portrait and things like that. But if you don't care about it, if you stay in the landscape, and if you don't care about wireless charging, then you can push that the lens all the way, uh, the clamp all the way to the left, and there's nothing to interfere. There's not the roll servo is right against the clamp. So uh, no matter how wide the lens, you can can push it all the way there, and you will need no counterweights on the foam, only uh, on the on the uh, roll servo, and and maybe. Uh, the tilt servo. Uh, no, the tilt servo, actually. Not so much on the roll servo because the lens will try to drag drag the uh, tilt forward, uh, the assembly. So you move that pivot point to the top and it'll stop doing that. But you can move it to the top, bottom. You can see this way I can get uh, landscape and portrait and everything works fine. Again, uh, I'm very happy with it, even though uh, the case now looks ugly, it works great. Thank you.